on the roof right here. Ooh, more deals for Steam. We can deal 25% off Mass Effect Legendary Edition. That is still at 60 bucks. Why is the original Mass Effect so expensive? Unless All right, that's earthquake finish. The new one. Yeah. Good night. Good night. It's promoting ARC right now. What is? Steam. It says Snail Games Publisher Weekend up to 80% off. And I guess they buy Snail Games? It says definitely a rock drake and a raptor. Tribes of Midgard? What the heck is that? Yeah, Ark is on sale for 10 bucks. Yeah, nice. I could have gotten it for my brother for 10 bucks. <laughs> That's alright though. Or thrive together, the heck? It's kind of like a Diablo style survival game kind of thing. Home drone in the danger zone. All right, well, that's interesting. Hey, nice shade. Hey. <coughs> so, what's going on on Earth? Well, just destroyed our main base. Yeah. Just what? Exodus, Exodus destroyed our main base. Oh, 
Hopefully the unicorn is still alive. Oh yeah, I tamed a unicorn. Nice shade. Yeah. Okay. I heard the sound that what they make some people leave the chat, so I was curious. Now I double clicked on your video so I can watch it in full screen. Oh. They use the same sound for that. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I am still alive. So is unicorns. And wyverns. But now I have a bit of a problem. How's that? I only have... One empty... Cryopod. And I have a dragon now too. And my spino on me. So, in other words, you need me to bring you a crapod. Yes, please. That would be nice. How are the, uh, fluffies? They're getting better. Any black one yet? Uh, no. We got uh, a little red one, purple one, a blue one, another blue one, another purple one, and a brown one. If we ever get like an all black one with like a white I did, face, I didn't or something, let none somehow, of them die this time. They all survived. <laughs> if we ever get an all black one with like a white face, somehow we need to name it like Death if it's really good. Or the Grim Reaper. And I got two more little feather lights. Come on, walk this way. I named Firebird, and that one's gonna be Gold Show. We got the gold dots. Yeah, uh, there's one nest. Let me grab. Yeah, it's a level 45 egg. Here, yeah, I'll bring you Ooh. three Take more pods. Thank you, I appreciate it. I just got off Minecraft. Nice. With mods or without mods? With. What mod pack? Vanilla, vanilla tweaks. I was helping a friend get their some the end stone. Okay, when you actually like, close something, you didn't mean close. Oh, you paused it. <laughs> that, that's because I moved the screen and it, it made my screen small screen. Alright. Let's go find a drop. Well, it looks like I'm stuck waiting again. Waiting... oh, for another hard drive? Yeah. My stepmom had a date night tonight. Ah. Nice, nice. Yeah. Which obelisk are you closest to? The green. Alright, well, I'll meet you there then. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just yoinking a couple more eggs before I head over there. Yeah, I can take them back with me. Hatch whichever ones are important hatching. 
I'd say the 135 is probably the only one that's worth hatching so far. Only one nest over here this time? What the heck? Hey, there's like six Deinonychus over here. This is really a beginning spawn point? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, shit. But usually I see like at least two nests. I spawned closest to the, uh, the beginning spawn closest to the hob. Turn around and I st I'm staring at a corno and two raptors. There was a blue drop right there, though. I'm close to it. Might as well get it while I'm here. Go after that Rue. Do it. Chase after it. It's just right there. Get it. Go get it. Don't know what you killed, but okay. Bugs. <coughs> you know, they did not get me at all. Okay, and now we know. Fucking micro raptor. Oh dear. Where? You didn't Everywhere. see that thing trying to trying to knock me off the bird? No. No, you're here somewhere. Where the fuck are you? It's waiting for you to get off. It doesn't have to wait for me to get off. It can knock me off the bird if, if it reaches me. So you're at Green Obelisk right now? I'm at the blue drop by Green Obelisk. I see it. I see it. He's trying to find something so he can kill it. Got a metal foundation uh, blueprint in this thing. I got all the cryopods out of it though. I'll meet you at Green Ob. Alright. <clears throat> There's a yellow drop over here. Yeah, you wanna meet there then? Maybe. Depends on what all's down here. Well, he's on bird, so. <laughs> Got a few of these trees, so it's a little more open. In case a micro raptor comes out of nowhere. Looks like someone built a base there. No, no that's it's just part of the map. Corner about that to you, right? And what looks like Pegos below me. I tell what's below me. Yeah. That's Del Dillo. What's in this here thing? Ramshackle Iguanodon saddle and an apprentice Megalodon saddle. Hmm. Oh, I'm here. Upload this here cement paste. Craft Anki saddle. Do you want the uh, 
Binonicus saddle, the Mastercraft one. Yeah, right uh, throw, it, throw it on the Orchitavis. I'll bring it back with me when I leave. Okay. I put the Chrono Pods on the Dragon. Thank you. What about the eggs? Oh, yeah. You putting them in the dropper or are you. I'm trying to find the 135 one. There it is. Go ahead, put it on your bird. Good thing I said something. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that drop didn't have anything in it worth taking? Uh, I mean, it had a Apprentice Megalodon saddle and a Ramshackle Iguanodon saddle, but that's it. Yeah, we're not gonna need either of those things. Purple drop. Yeah, I think I might go check those purple drops and catch any red ones to spawn. Looks like there's a red one off in the distance over there. We'll go get it. I'm flying towards it, but I don't know if this dragon will make it by the time it uh despawns. Drop to spawn. I agree, <laughs> drop to trash. Yeah. Still wouldn't hurt to look. <laughs> it wouldn't in this case, because there's a red drop over there, and I'm not sure if it's got much health left. And red drops are definitely better than green drops by a mile. Oh, yeah. The best drops are the red ones, the second best are the yellow, and the third best are the blue, uh, the purple. And then blues are still sometimes worth looking at. Uh, nothing really worth it. I'm staring dead at this thing in hopes of whenever it gets in render distance so I can see how much health it has with my spyglass. Are silencers worth a damn to put on the weapon? A little bit. It does silence your weapon, but it... I mean, to be honest, it's not all that useful. Unless you're going to be a sniper. Yeah, so there's no point keeping that weapon. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, wind turbine. Blueprint for wind turbine. Two blueprints for oil pump. Three oil pumps. Blueprint, blueprint for cluster grenade, which I'm definitely taking. We can spread the oil pumps around the map on this place. And yeah. At least have a few we can check out, see if people don't destroy them. I wish I need to hit that one behind blue, I'll see if it's still there or not. Yeah, I took about everything that was worth... We're taking, I might drop this wind turbine. Or I might take that, I don't know. Put it on the dragon. Usually, usually I just throw them down and then demolish them. Oh yeah, for I'm the right uh, materials. I think it gives you like a little bit of electronic. Name it the saddle blueprint. You just joined the chat. Uh, that is for Master. Oh. Hello, Mr. Rex. Follow me off the road. 37 metal, 10 cementing paste, and 12 electronics. So I see you guys applied for the ORP. Yeah. For the what? Did you set ORP somewhere? 
Nope, not yet. Because uh, he's probably not gonna. Oh, a red drop just spawned right here too, right on. Oh, I wanted um, to. I wanted to say it just mainly so he knows Exodus is attacking tribes that can't defend themselves. Yeah. Yeah, I was looking at rules and it says like, uh, um, keep this in mind. Also, if we receive too many reports of your tribe or people in your tribe against new players, we can ban slash destroy the whole tribe. So, it's like, uh, evaluated by the admin. Yeah. But, um, Scorpion. Can't kill that Rex with the SRG, so I really need him to walk off the cliff. Come on. And I'm pretty sure you just have to be admin to set ORP. You don't have to be owner. I'm 90% sure because we kind of just did a test just now. Um, and then also another thing I learned that passive dino thing, huh? I think it's only if their inventory is empty. If their inventory is not empty, I think they are able to be killed. Oh, well, that kills that idea then. Well, I mean, I would still just, I'd get a Perlovia or something, bury a Perlovia. Uh, don't bury it, like, right next to your base, because if, it'll still take explosive damage. Like, bury it somewhere close to your base. Yeah. Somewhere that's not, somewhere they're not going to be using explosives. Well, I, I was exploring a little while ago, and by where we're at, it's close to the ceiling border of the map. And from what it looks like, I can find a foundation up there and just shove a bolt up there out of the way. Like out of the border? Damn close to being out of the border. Yeah, there's a couple of, um... There's like tree, like those tree systems that go all the way up, like that you can get inside of, and there's like little platforms in there that are like right at the... right at the roof border. Oh yeah. Like before the wipe last wipe, I was I started taming Pelovius. I figured out I could walk around on the aloe and they wouldn't jump out at me. So I was just carrying some uh, fence foundations around and putting a little hut around them and then taming them. I managed to get two decent ones before the wipe happened. I mean, they don't even have they don't even have to be good. You know, just level them and wait, just in case you want to put like heavy stuff on them, but. You can put, I think it's like 50 slots on a Perlovia. And it's yeah. Well, at the time I was taming with the view with the mindset of land mines. Yeah. But I do need to do that. I, can, I just, I, can, I just always. You can, you can build from the back of an RG, right? Yeah. You, yeah. You can build from the back of any dino. Catch a few that way then. Seeing how the uh, Exodus stole our arrows. Yeah, I'm pretty close. sure he was trying to find where we moved to earlier. He spent about an hour on aberration. <laughs> what map are you on now? This is Calgary, the same one you were playing with us on, whenever you were playing with us. A rare okay. aloe. We'll get it. If it's high enough level, or if it's a low enough level, I guess I could, guess you could say. If it's a 159, I'm taking it. <laughs> Pick it up, fly it all the way back to base. Just drop inside the fucking dragon trench. Think so. Yeah, it's close to it. I mean, you're you're technically hey. about to be in the dragon trench. Fly in, fly down in there. Yeah, well, I'm not flying down there in the larger. Fuck that. Yeah, that's asking for death. What can you fly there on? Crystal dragon, pterodons might be fast enough. Oh, the pterodons are perfect. If you have a terror, you want good stam. The only way you're gonna outrun the dragon is by C-spinning. Plus, you can twist. 
through a hole and just lose them. Well, I'm not going for that purple drop. I'm getting lucky with the red drops. Another one just spawned in front of me and I'm about to grab it too. And it's in a not really contested Wait. area. You know what popped in front of uh, Steel? Oh no, what? it's still there. A dragon. <laughs> right beside that purple drop. Oh, there are three of them there. I think one of them yeah, is trying to kill me, but I'm trying to use the mountain to... To lose it. As, yep. As the purple drop was, like, coming down, three dragons appeared, like, Surprise, bitch! Oh, I got an actual cluster grenade this time. Well, that's pretty orgy. And then the rest are... Yep. ...basically trash. That has your name on it, Steel. I ain't got nothing with me to tame. A 159 RG. Oh. Yep, totally has your name on it. It's nice Black. and red. Black mane feathers, bright red medium feathers, and purple wingtips. Now, I don't have jack hole nothing to tame them with, though. I mean, I put my trait darts in a, uh, drop. Is, is someone else on our girl with us? No? Did you just aggro the dragons? Me? Yeah. No. I think a dragon is glitched. Because <laughs> I've just watched the same ass dragon fly from the trench towards the uh, red obelisk three times. Make that four times. Yeah, yeah, it just did it again. That dragon is glitched. I'm finding all the red drops today. Ooh. What was that? Is that a rare or an alpha? Oh, the monster, you probably know. Yeah, it's alpha. Uh. Right what what makes a uh, unicorn better than Equus? Nothing. No. <laughs> See, that's what I figured. There's just it's uh, there's only ever one unicorn in the wild at a time, so it's just rare. Yeah, well, we have one. <laughs> nice. Equus are actually like they're not too bad. Uh, if you, like, breed them and put high melee in them, you can knock all kinds of shit out. Especially, like, first starting out, like, when servers wipe, what we would do is we would start on rag, and then the first thing, because there's a, in the north, in the highlands, there's, like, a little farm thing where you can just pick up carrots and use them, those to tame the horses, and then, like, Real early on, like we would just run horses around and just like take over the whole area and knock people out. Because if you don't have, like, even if you have full flak on, a horse will one shot knock you out. Dang. And you can do the same thing on Valgara. There's a, there's a carrot farm here, too. I am at the height I've, border of the world. Uh, I've How watched, high is this? I've watched it's people pretty high. use pretty bread. High bred horses to knock out brontos that are like soaking turret walls. Oh. Huh. They Damn. do they do a lot of twerp. Or like uh, some does the uh, <coughs> Does the Brontos take more damage when they're knocked out or something? No, but you can take the out. Well, you can take the saddle off them and then they take more damage. Ah. And what happens is they get knocked out, the rider gets kicked off, the rider usually gets shot by the turrets and dies and then they can't, like, they can't run up and cry out because it's in turret range, and so you just sit there and kill it as you need. Or you just gotcha. take, you just take the, take the saddle off and start taking a lot more damage. Um, people would usually, you can use a, you can use a mantis as well with clubs, and you can use those to, uh, like, you, mantis have, like, if you right click it does, like, that jump attack thing. And if you have clubs equipped to it, it'll do a lot of torp as well. So people will use either horses or mantis to knock out stegos. Or both. Yeah, or both. I wonder if that uh, Zoratos tribe got banned from the server. 
Because I ain't seen them online in a while. Yeah, I, I haven't seen them on since they tried to raid us that one day. I know they've been on and raided some people, but I, don't, I honestly don't think they have a base. I think they just live out of their upload or something. Beckrex, what level are you? But you can also use the the horse lasso, like uh, like if you knock out a quetzal and it falls in the water, you can actually lasso the quetzal and pull it out of the water. I, see, I saw someone do that in the video. Journeyman whip blueprint. Mantra saddle, a print, uh, ramshackle assault rifle blueprint, ramshackle drawing, drawing dragon blueprint. Oh! There's someone's Deinonychus over here that just got attacked by. S what the hell? What tribe? I don't know. About to find out once I yeah it just died. About to find out once I carry these things off. I bet you it's uh, Nashka's Dynamicus most likely. Once I if it had a bag. Which it does. I think I might just just find a dragon to be over with it. Fly around. This orange is taking fucking forever. Yeah. And down here by an Equus. It's alive, nothing's killing it. Yeah, another 135 egg. Hey, guess what I just landed next to? Owner 145. An egg? No, another unicorn. Level 100 unicorn. What about the black one? Eh, the black one's just the Equus. It's level... Let's go with that now. 20. Although it's pretty, it's not worth it. I'm putting a bunch of stuff in this here drop. Like these eggs. I got another 135 egg, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Is your unicorn a male or female? Uh, it is a male. I think Look I got that the, one. Reddest, the reddest of red dragons. Yep, <laughs> a steel. Yeah. What gender is that unicorn that you found? I believe it is a male. You can't miss it, it's white. Putting a bunch of uh, like all of these Deinonychus eggs in here. Hold 
Oh, let's go get some thing to go train that Argentavis, the red one. I don't have no necrotics or anything made. Let's go make some. I'm not really interested in getting another Argentavis. Level 45. How about this other nest over here? Did it have an egg? No. I am dehydrated. Das ist Wasser. Das ist gut. You get one of those cryopods pods back from you. Say how I bought a dragon. Okay. I'm going to my trap. It's still in the same spot? Yeah. Oh, this guy's orange under the sunlight. Nice. Green drop. Green is trash. So if I'm also with Biome, you're gonna go in there, you're gonna stay, stay out of cave somewhere. Close up. When y'all move, you're gonna build an open or you're gonna take one of the caves? I'm taking the spider cave. Oh, where the bird <laughs> mother spawns at? Yeah. Can you tame a spider? Yep. No. Uh, well, not not the big broodmother one. I don't think she's ever seen the broodmother one. Nope. That is probably the most orange dragon I've ever seen. If you see a big old gash in the ground that has a bunch of spider webs in the redwoods over there, and you jump in there, it will scream at you. And I'll put it on your dragon. You'll see it. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I'm gonna go show her. It's kind of like a like a, an alarm system too, because it's loud as shit. So if someone comes in there, you know, because it starts screaming at them. <laughs> oh, how do you, how do you get in and out of your base without aggroing the, the brood mother every time? Uh, I want to. I mean, I want to use the mother. Oh, I'm not I'm not flying down into that trench to show you the scream. I have bad enough luck in the red wind biomes with all the micro raptors. Thanks. Can I hear it just one time? The odds of me dying if I go down there are high. I'm gonna just show you where it's at, and when you fix your computer, you can come over here and go down there. Aww. See all those spider webs down there? Oh, now I see him. <laughs> Blow fire at the webs. They don't burn. I've already tried that before. Oh, That's no fun. Is that it's the mother? Down there. Yeah, the bridge mother's not here. I she always comes. Should be in there. Uh, might be a... That trench is kind of long. Might be a bit of a trench. Or she might just What's be shoved. What's the red thing? Might just be shoved up in a corner somewhere. I've never seen her here. Hmm. What's the red things? Decorations, I believe. Yeah, she's not down in that trench. That's sad. Just hoping to see her.
there is another end to it. it this cave leads to another side. Yeah, but every time I've seen her, she's been in the opening crag right here. Now, you see all the little spiders down there? You can tame the little ones. Where? Oh. Uh, if those are the ones that are, like, level 300-something, you can't. Because, like, cave dinos are higher level. No, these suckers, 15, 60, 20. Okay. Yeah, or, then those you can't. You go deeper in, uh, and there's like level 300 stuff in there, and you can't tame those. That's, uh, that's really high. It's a good place to power level. You take a megatherium in there and kill all the bugs. Like, even the, like, the little ant bugs are like level 300 something. You get a shitload of chitin. And the mega thing has that buff against bugs. Yep. Purple drop. I think Giga was at 45.65. I'm gonna go see what level that thing is. What thing? There was a Giga that spawned a while ago. If it hasn't despawned yet. Yep. It'll say if it vanishes. <clears throat> I wasn't on the server whenever he said it spawned. I was actually going to come over and look for it. You know, all this shit. Is that it? Oh, you're shooting the Rex? No, the, the Giga is a lot bigger than that. Oh. Who's going to look in the drop? Well, he's playing with the Rex, you can go look. It's almost dead. He's dead. Uh, Beasle buff, Princess Saddle. That's, I got another level from that. Put that in the melee. Hey, now you can go down the dragon trench and look at the eggs. Yeah. Maybe later. Okay. Uh, you said 45, 65. That giga should be right around here somewhere. Found it. It's on top of the fucking hill. <laughs> mean mountain. 146 female giga. Oh. And there's another giga up here with her. 50. Yep. Male. Die, you. The uh, rare the giga. Zap, zap. Yeah. Yeah, if you join, if you look at the. Uh, Ow! Yeah, I'll put my spyglass on. Oh god. Uh, I need yeah, help. Yeah. 
I tamed a 150 on there yesterday. Oh, baby, that hurts. I don't know if it's a male or female, though. I'm gonna guess uh, the guy gets a good bite out of you. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, the other one's a, a level 50 male. Do you guys have the stuff to tame it? No way in hell. Yeah, I didn't bring any taming stuff on me. Bro. Even a level 50 does 700 damage. Oh, that bleeds you. It's gonna be a percentage. The the bleed is percentage based. Not like the dynamicus. But nah, that was no, no, that was like a base attack. Like it did 756 damage. Oh. No. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I saw the bleed animation on you as I was flying over, though. I did so have I probably the bleed did that, and then and then it and did And then more. the bleed. I knew Gigas were good, but I didn't know they were that damn good. Well, they're not as good when you pay me. Yeah, they're stronger as wilds. It's absolutely ridiculous. Things are evil. So, do Rexes get a bonus from being around a Giger? No. So, it's probably just a mate boost symbol I was seeing then, huh? Probably. Yeah, uh, part with an arrow. Yeah, that's the male and the female next to each other. Looks like Strike oh, look. is going There's to the center to get frickin'. There's a third party. Other people. <laughs> so there's one person on from Exodus on Genesis, one other people on Gen two, and then one on the center. Yeah, all the main fob dudes were over on Rag for some reason earlier. Yeah, the uh one of the guys that raided us is on Gen 2. It's on, on the center. The center. Oh, sweet. The guy I tamed yesterday was male. Yeah, so you got your 140, 40, what, 9? I think it's 146. I will go take a peek. I'm still here. Uh, yeah, it's a 146 female. So you can do some decent taming with that. It's eating a what stick over right now. The thing is a demon. Evil demon. Actually, it should be pretty easy to freaking shoot it. It's underneath a ledge you can shoot down from. I'll just trap it. Um, I'm gonna hover above where it's standing. That way you can see it. Bright orange dragon. I'm just sitting on a cliff watching it as I force feed my dragon. Got it from full health all the way down to like 2,000. Well, that happens. Yeah, I could only imagine if that 149 hit me, I'd be fucked. Or 146. Where's that other Giga? It's on the other side of the mountain. Chased him off to the other side. Yeah, it's kind of up here with me. But on the other oh. side, over there. More to the right of where you're at. Yeah. Over this way. I see it. What are you riding on? Astro Delphus. The heck? Space Dolphin with jetpack for uh, saddle. Wait, I want to see. That thing is crazy. 
crazy. I ain't never seen it before. Yeah, fuck that thing up. It deserves death for what it did to me. <laughs> Looks like a jetpack manta ray. I gotta get a closer look at this thing. Don't get too close where he shoots you. I'm just looking with my with my uh, spyglass. Spy yeah. And it's down. That's more like a space orca. Oh, aren't the wells way bigger? The Astro uh, see this yeah. or whatever it's called. Are they cool too? I've never really used them, but um, they have like a kind of like an old World War II bomber that has like the ball gunner turret. Oh. And you can like drop bombs from it. You mean a B2? Yeah. I guess. Where'd the Giga run off to? It's over here in front of me. Oh, it went up a little bit. There it is. Oh, it's on the move. Why does Savage's dragon look like it's purple? Is this a lightning dragon? I got lightning. And I like red, so I bought a fire dragon. What dragons huh. are there? That Giga is completely ignoring you. <laughs> What dragons are there? Poison, ice, fire, lightning, crystal, water, blood. I wanna try it. I wanna get the blood dragon. Looks like you got him stuck. I think I did. I was like, kind of didn't place the dino gates there. There's a big gap. Nice. Good way to knock them out. All right. To every time you tell a dragon to land, it immediately goes for a spot you're not trying to land on. That's crazy. I am retarded. Why? I hope I have a rifle on the floor. Have you got his rifle? <laughs> well, I got I got my crossbow and I have trank arrows, but I brought a bunch of darts, but I don't have a rifle. I have a rifle, but it's about half health. I felt the raffle probably not gonna last throughout the entire game. I, mean, I got like 473 arrows. I think that's enough. Oh, cool. I have a rifle. 
Actually, I can look up and see how many areas it would take for a 146 giga. I think it's like 300 something. Sheesh! That's a lot. Giga. But last time, like, I was Six. shooting it, and then, like, I got attacked by stuff, so I had to stop shooting it. And if you're not constantly shooting it, they burn through Torp really fast. Yeah, for whatever reason, Dodo Dex will not tell me what it takes to knock them out. But it will say you need 85 narcotics to keep it knocked out while you're taming it. That's when you use Google. That thing is steady wanting to come for you, dude. Yeah, well, I can fly. <laughs> oh, shit. It's like, hi. <laughs> Bye. I feel like one chomp from that thing would take down like half your health. Oh, probably more than that. I only got 6,900 on this dragon. Remember, the I crystal one. I got 9,500 on this one. Did you, like, totally see that, Savage? The dinosaur just totally looked at steel, then looked away. Yeah. Like, nah. He's back. With his flying dolphin. Yep. To be honest, I've never tamed one of these things before. I'll walk over to the dolphin so she can get a better view of it. I'm gonna just sit right here. I can unclaim it if you want to fly it around. Oh, they'll claim, oh, you'd have to use a crop odd because that stupid claim timer. Oh, oh, no, 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 pass it, pass it, pass it. <laughs> I'd be afraid to tell that thing to land. It might try to land right next to the Giga. Yeah, it just flew over it. Mm-hmm. Just make sure you don't pass you. That was close. Like, why did they even aggro though? I was like, I'm not doing shit. And that Giga don't belong to us. Why the fuck did it care? Drops in the area where you get. And a couple of purple ones. This is gonna take a while. Not gonna lie, that looks really funny. Just a little dude <laughs> shooting a big dinosaur in the butt. I'm surprised she haven't bit his head off yet. She's stuck. She can't. No, keep it that way. Because I'm sure he needs his head. Yeah? No, no. All he needs is the brain stem. Megaloceros is that Komodo dragon looking dino around. That's a Megalania. Uh, me yeah, Megalania is like the lizard looking thing that is in Megaloceros is. Megaloceros uh, is the deer, the yeah, male the... deer. And no. Megalosaurus is the things that are on the the ones that like sleep. Well, actually, on Ab, they don't sleep. Oh, I don't plan. I don't, don't need that saddle then. Yeah, it's like the reindeer. Do they fly? 
No. Nope. They don't have red noses either. That's sad. This thing is crazy looking. What are you doing? Trying to get the dragon turn around. Without going into the water and kicking me off. Kinda looked like you were dancing. Play right here. Only 200 more darts to go. 200 more? Yep. It takes a lot to knock them out. It it goes faster if you have more people. Mm. Yeah. But you there's like. Evil on you? Nah, I got mutton. Mm. I say I can go find some Ovis if you didn't have any. Yeah, when it's one person, you have, like, no room for missing shots at all. Also, that rifle looks way too big for you. It's because I got big hands. If you scale your hands on your character, it makes your weapon bigger. Really? Yep. <laughs> Where how big mine looks. To be honest, to my character, it looks kind of small. Dip through a caucus saddle. Let's see if I can't find any red drops. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some stuff in here. Get this obelisk. Alright, I'm gonna go check the blue orb. That did look really funny though, just a little dude holding a big rifle. <laughs> <laughs> you know it would be funnier if you made the biggest character possible but scaled the hands down to the smallest scale possible? <laughs> oh Jesus. Big man holding a little rifle. Shooting 22 at people. <laughs> I'd be like that character off of uh, T Titans with those baby hands. Robin. Robin had baby hands? Yeah, that's why he wears gloves. Wait, are you talking about Teen Titans Go? Yep. Yeah, that's not the real uh -huh. Teen Titans. The real I don't know, Teen but Titans still funny. Better. It is, it is funny. It is a little funny, yeah. I like to watch that Tea Titan go for just the laughs. How many items can One. you have in the, uh, at a, in a drop at a time? I mean, in the data or yeah, that arc data. Drop and spawn. A hundred. Oh, okay. I got plenty of room left. N normal servers, it's sixty, but on these servers, it's a hundred. <clears throat> nice. 
Hey, the oil tank's still here. Taking that with you? Taking as much of it as I can carry. Which I can carry more than the dragon can, so I bet put some of this back. <laughs> I'm gonna grab my darts and see if there isn't a uh, good level baryonyx in the swamp real quick. This pump's right next to blue hob, I can just take what's in it and put it in the upload. Yeah, yeah, true. Oh. Not that we're gonna have to worry about gas with just one generator, but at least we'll have gas. True, true. What level are you, Sarko? 25. Let go of me, you stinky thing. <laughs> Let me through. Let's see. Something's getting ripped over here. What is that? It's a little 45 Sarko. You. 90 Sarko. I need to start breeding those Sarkos that, I, that we've got. Oh, never mind, they're fucking gone, that's right. And they took Lemon Drop too, the only other Baryonyx that I had. Is that the transport those? 145 pairs yep. good lord. Steel? Yep, uh, you can bring stuff from one map to another to upload it inside those things. Uh. Ah, there's a Baryonyx. Uh, 55 though. Trash. It's not trash. It's good for levels. It probably wouldn't get me even a level on this thing. Hello, Ovi Raptor. Aren't you thought you'd have to use? Oh. I almost shot it again. Get down! Don't look at me like that. Jesus. What level are you, Stuck Sarko? 130. Hmm. That ain't bad. Too bad it ain't an aberrant one. Did you get what's inside there already? Nope, because I knew those wolves were going to be back when I stood up. Die, piranha. They were evil. See, you got this one little wolf. 
You like totally missed them. You can tame it. I don't have nothing to tame the wolf with. My shit. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting. Really lagging my blueprint. Uh, uh, in here will attack. Actually, nothing in here will attack a wyvern. Gabber uh, won't jump over and knock you off the wyvern? Nope. Speaking of the Gabber, I just found a blueprint for a ramshackle saddle. And a ramshackle nice. stego blueprint. I can't see anything. I need eyes, dang it. One forty male sarco. I may just have to take that. Well, it's stuck in trees. Oh, it's <laughs> Poor monkey. Enough of you trees. I kind of wish we could use one of those on Aberration. Yeah, also, they took Tickle Tiger. Ah, uh, yeah, fuck. I mean, he was a Bidono anyway. Yeah. Said about Pinky, I put a lot of time and effort into that dino. Oh, 60, you're trash. Come here, I'm gonna kill you. I need higher level ones of you, uh, even. I got poisoned. I'm getting poisoned by a freaking toad. We still have the stego? Yeah, we got the stego. And we tame a 168 male that's not got the little rare fireballs around it. Is that a tech stego? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, tech, ste tech dinos go all the way up to 180. But you can't mate a regular stego. Regular stego and a tech stego. Yeah. I thought we had a tech stego. Oh, no, they took that. It was in the fridge. Let me land. Thicker saddle. Not one. Yeah, too bad they took our thicker too. Oh, son of a bitch, I forgot about that. At least they didn't get forest. I tamed him myself. Well, I think the only reason they didn't get forest is because he's more passive and not in a fucking crowd pod. Yeah. Hello, are you? 90 Sarko. Uh, got bit by something. Piranhas. They are, they are the most annoying. 
creature on this fucking game. Tell you what yeah, the coordinates are. Twenty-five trash. Is, it, uh, is the cave on the or is it like it's meshed into the the, the cave? The cave is just barely big enough for you to walk an RGN. Oh sweet! I think I can shoot it though. There's a Perlovia right here. Oh, my bad. Uh, probably have to get all the mammoths out your way before you're able to shoot and hit the gate. Tops is that one weird looking dino that spawns on Ragnarok, well not Ragnarok, uh, Scorched Earth, right? The camel looking one? Yeah. Yeah, it spawns on Ragnarok too. Well, I don't think I'll ever get one of those. So I'm just going to drop this saddle. They're pretty useless. And everything in there. Still killing mammoths. Huh? Who? Uh, I'm watching Thomas to go after this gate. Oh, nice. I'm gonna come over there and look as well, or watch as well. Now let me just fly up high so I can see where the heck I'm supposed to go. Weird. Oh, here we go. Yeah, you have to get in there to be able to hit it by that angle. Red drop. Crop top. I don't know the rest of the lyrics to this song. Because I don't really like this song. It's open. Turret. Was there a Eight turret in there? Jobs. I don't know. I got two grenades on me from drops. Would those things damage that door? Oh, no, I stuck them in the... Oh yeah, there's a turret tower in here. Stuck a grenade inside the fucking obelisk. But that's all the way on the other side of the map. Yeah. What level? So you got, you broke the door down, it's just a turret that gets you to come around the corner, huh? Uh, there is quite a, there are autos. Uh, I can get it! Get off the damn thing! I am over encumbered. Rocket homing missile and a C4 charge. Jenny is exposed, I could flame arrow it. I just need like a stick or something. Does it absorb damage while you shoot it or something? Uh, just so I don't get deleted by the turrets and get it, it'll give me time to shoot it with the flame arrow. Because you can shoot off the back of the Sega. The only dinos I have on me are uh, Dinonicus and the Argentavis. I have a dragon and a unicorn. <laughs> and a spino. And a spino. 
but I don't think they can fit in there. Well, you can't shoot off the back of that spino anyway. True. That is very true. I'm still gonna come back with a billboard and paint a big, you know, middle finger on it and stick in front of this guy's entrance. I'll do it. That'll just be like an extra fuck you to him. It's gonna be even better because, <laughs> like, if Hamas is the one that broke the gate down, he's completely <laughs> different tribe putting the billboard up. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's over that way, right? Yeah, 48, 20-ish. Yeah, there's like 20 autos in here. Uh, 20 they really don't want no one having any oil, do they? I can't tell if there's anything in the back. I do have a cluster grenade. The turrets will shoot it if you throw it. They'll shoot the grenade. Mm -hmm. And that any, stops it from any exploding. Explosives. Any explosives. It'll get shot before it gets close enough. It'll still explode, but it's gonna explode before it gets close enough to do any damage. Hmm. I see. I see. really freaky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your stream is having a rough time right now, dude. Oh yeah, I know. My internet's taking shit again. For some reason. Actually, no, it's not. It's just, for some reason, the stream does not look right now. It's probably why a lot of people don't stick around. They're like, yeah, I can't watch this shit. Once you get better in that, you'll be able to change that. Yeah. So you said they're around the corner, right? Like, I wouldn't be able to hit them with the lightning wyvern from here? Outside. Hit what? The turrets. Turret. The lightning wyvern won't damage you. Oh, no, it wouldn't? Nope. Oh, that's lame. Uh, void worm will. But that's gentle. Yeah. What the heck is a void worm? It's like the tech wyvern. Oh. It's like a. Shoots this like, like flat cone of energy. But instead of like right clicking once, you like hold it down and it breathes as long as you're holding it down. But it does damage to metal and tech. It'll, if you get close enough, it'll completely destroy turrets pretty quick. I heard this big pain in the ass to tame the. That's not too bad. The, the biggest well, thing like is getting the mutagel. Enough well, like it was glitched or something. It'd like if it, it, Oh, it, yeah, they, they used to have a glitch. Yeah. I think they fixed that. Hmm. But you can you can go in the tunnel a little bit. Just don't go around the corner. Uh, I'm not bothering. If I can't do anything to those things, it's not really a point. I just need to get a uh, some flame arrows and a stego, and I can probably take it down. Oh, the dragon's hungry. Oh, fuck. Okay.
back to the base. Oh, a Quetzal. What level are you, a oh magical being? 95. Alright, so with a flame crystal dragon, I have this little red egg shaped symbol underneath his stats, and I have no clue what it means. It's like super light, too. And I'm guessing when you press H, it doesn't show anything? Nope. Wait, though. Alright. So on the dino stat bar on the top right corner of my screen, there is a r little red egg shaped symbol. Oh, that's, uh, that's the enrage meter. Like, uh, if you're on a giga and that fills up, it'll kick you off and it rages and just starts eating everything around it, whether it's tame, like you're tame or not. I don't know why the crystal wyverns show up with a rage meter though. Huh. I see that all what? the time in uh, Aberration, and I was, I've always wondered what that meant. Yeah, but that was on your stats, not your dino stats, right? Yeah. Yeah, even, it's... I don't know what it's used for. I don't know if it's supposed to show up or not. Hey, you got tamed. There's a uh, Alpha Rex over here. What do you have? Oh wow, Mastercraft Terrorbird Saddle Blueprint. And an apprentice hey, dunning saddle. We need to we need to tame one of those, paint it green, and paint the saddle red. Why? Name it Yoshi. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah I guess. That does make sense. Bro, I don't know if it's just me or if it's actually getting hot in my room. Like, did the power just completely fuck up my AC? Maybe. Oh, yeah. Breaker. Trigger breaker and then turn back on. Just try turning this thing off and then back on. Imagine a barracks is kind of warm without the AC. Oh yeah, especially in the middle of a desert. Yeah, it's like a very important thing to fix. Like the air conditioner goes down, they have to fix it either that day or the next day. Here we just all have generators. That's, well, 100 degrees and 100% humidity sucks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd imagine. Although it's been like 20 years since the last time I was in Arizona, so I don't know what dry heat feels like. Uh, it's not really dry right now, it's, for some reason, very humid here now. So it's like, very hot, decently humid heat, and it's just terrible. I feel like I'm back home during the summer, but it's hotter. Jumbo is on admiration. Look at what From tribe he's with. Main pub. Oh, yeah. Main pub. He's a dude that we had to fight with. Like, they came behind and we were wiping those other guys. 
Uh, oh, and he thought he'd third party it. Yeah, him and some other dude came in. Then we basically just had like a rocket fight inside of their base. Now I got four oil rigs. I don't know what to do with. I picked one up. Picked one up out of the drop and not placed down on where the other the one was, was at. That? Oh, that was you. I don't lie, that sounds kind of scared me a little bit. Uh, I don't remember exactly where they're at, but there's some oil. Build stuff around the, the Beaver Lake by Crystal Cave. I don't know if you want any of that. Hmm. I think it rim check a middle pick. I guess the pistol. Thank you. from the right shell too, I see. <laughs> hey, Ramshackle Megalosaurus uh, saddle. Actually, have a reason to tame one of those fuckers now. are OP because they can go underwater too. Oh really? Wow. Yeah. Valg is actually really good for the underwater drops. There's like 10 of them in this cave system and you just like make a loop and they drop uh, like shotgun BPs, stab BPs. Hmm. Ah, wow. Nosh, what's left of Nashka's base is still here. Oh, you finally found it? Yeah, well, it's the first time I've actually looked for it. That's the green odd cave? Yeah. Okay, they ain't got nothing left. The smithy here. Two forges. What looked where the bed was is gone. They destroyed the foundation. They unlocked the smithy. Nice. Yeah, I, I told her to do that. I was like, I was like, you might just be better off leaving your shit unlocked and open, because like, if people can, like, if someone's gonna, they're gonna blow it up. 
and they can just go through the stuff, they're just gonna save their explosives and be like, oh, fuck. The only thing that's unlocked is the smithy. <laughs> And she's got like small storage boxes in like every other little corner in here. <laughs> but her character's not here. So whenever they logged out, they were either dead or. Do they still play on this server? I haven't seen them online since the last time they got raided. And you did that right as I was trying to click on obelisk. Oh, sorry. Bro. This looks fucking hilarious. You're like planking midair. Uh, I'll see it in your stream in a second. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Like Superman, you're just like floating there. Mm -hmm. Everything on you. How about now? Uh, one second. Nah, now you're fine now. You're just standing there. I don't know how many times I've put in a fucking ticket to get these things, f like this air conditioner fixed, but they need to like really get on that shit. Cause I miss having to be like hoodie weather inside my freaking room. Hey, new satellite eggs. Needs attention. Oh, forgot. Cooked prime fish meat. Oh. They want to go on a walk. All three of those want to cuddle. They want to. Those two want to walk, and then this one wants some cooked prime fish. Oh. This one wants no, tento want berries fish. and cooked meat. Yeah, of course, the one I want to use as a rider is fucking want, is the one that wants fish and trying to cook fish. berries if you cry it and throw it back out it'll give it it'll ask for something else yeah I'm gonna do that after I get these two walked oh, smelly go. is still <laughs> stuck on the ground so now I really only have four dung beetles I didn't want to do that. Come on, imprint before I walk off the edge of the cliff. There we go. And both you focus come back over here. Go 
Oh, oh I just think that that dung beetle is just gone. He's gone for good. Just stuck underground. If you want infinite fertilizer, just make a toilet. Just make a toilet? Mm -hmm. I mean, I there's have a, like five dung beetles. To it. Um, so if you sit on a toilet and you poop and then you flush it, you can instantly poop again and then flush it and then poop again. But if you poop twice in a row, or if you poop while you're off the toilet, then you can't poop. So what you do is you have someone, it's easiest if you have someone sitting there with you, because they can just go into the inventory and like, once you poop in it, there's a button to flush it pops up. You just, you poop in it and then you have them flush it. And then you just like, spam click and you just keep pooping. And every time you poop, you get one fertilizer. Hmm. Interesting. I did not know that. Yeah, now good. I do. You only wanted to cuddle. I'm gonna go get ten of berries for this fucking light. Dungy, do you just like not want me to leave? They don't want me to leave the greenhouse. Leave the greenhouse. Poop. My uh, my egg spinos aren't laying any eggs. I need you to lay some eggs, alright? Take that poop. down there or would it be? I can't see because my Spino's head is in the way. Rare Dire Bear, level 144. What is in this area that does not like my computer? Every time I come around that one particular corner, my FPS tanks. Hmm. That sucks. The bad thing about this game is like, like random bullshit tanks your FPS for some reason. True. True. I never really know what it is either. The, uh... The names display, especially if you have like a base full of dinos, actually tanks your frames way more than it should. If you hit um, if you hit backspace, you turn off like your uh, like UI elements, it'll speed up. Did I know that? Like the only thing that I know for sure tanks my SPS is when I go on extension and look at those waterfalls in the middle of the uh, city. That will take the FPS. But then again, I'm pushing my computer a little harder, and I probably should be pushing it. Or if you stare at a uh, like a pile of fertilized eggs that have that red cloud. It doesn't tank my FPS, but if I sit there and stare at it, I can hear my GPU fan like 
crank on <laughs> like super high. Yeah, mine doesn't do that for the eggs. I've had about 30 eggs going at one time staring at them and it didn't change anything as far as frames per second was. It's really just the waterfalls and whatever is in render distance when I come around this particular corner. It might just be like a load line where it's loading the next part of the map. Maybe. I didn't know that was a thing in here. But it yeah, is a I, thing for I, caves. I think that is a th I, I think that's exactly what it is, because like, I can shuffle back and forth across a spot and it'll tank every time I go across a yeah, it's, spot. It's unloading part of the map and loading the next part of the map. Streaming in the whatever, whatever part you're coming up to. <clears throat> the center has a real hard lag line in one of the ice caves, and that's where people usually build their turret wall, is right behind that lag line. And so when people go to rush it, they hit that lag line, and the, you know, all the turret walls are tearing them up. I wonder if I turned down that's my smart. settings a little bit and, you know, basically dumb down things, if I could have fix that issue. I am pushing like 5800 by 2760 pixels on the epic settings. Yeah, there's different. Uh... You can there's like a console variables file in your in your folder for Arc under Steam Maps that you can put stuff into and you can do stuff like basically turn off lighting so you it's just all it's all solid color. I have one that basically turns off lighting. The only way I can tell if it's day or night is if I look at the sky whether it's black or blue. You can turn off foliage so leaves on trees don't render. But there's weird things on the foliage layer like silica pearls or uh, like those whales that give you poly or the dolphin, the dead dolphins on the beach. For some reason those are on the foliage layer so if you turn off foliage you can't see them. My computer can handle running everything at max settings with three monitors. It does warm the room up a bit when I shut the door in the central unit. Can't tell that it's getting hot in here. Yeah. 
dead at me because I'm gonna get stuck. Now that this female's gotten bigger, I took a look at her. That's actually a really, really pretty color on it. What color is she? Black base, gray highlight, and blue tips. Hmm. Nice. And my red one's pretty much the same thing, except red tips instead of the blue tips. Other lights are getting pretty good looking too. Hey, finally got a blue feather light baby pop out. And it's got red glow spots. Dude, another rare giga spawn over here. Dang, you ain't lucky with that. Oh, that dude Bard is over here right now. <laughs> I, I bet he has his uh, tribe log on link to his Discord. You can do that? Yeah. yeah. You, you gotta pay for a subscription to do it or you gotta leave the character logged in. No, this is about the time I usually see him log in, so I don't think it's that. Oh, okay. I've never seen him over here. I've never seen him on. Oh, part of my system is I have three monitors, so I have the player list constantly open on one screen, Discord on another, stream on another, Excel sheet on another. As I mentioned, work has been slow as hell lately, so I, I watch this player list from at work, too. Right, so you're a little boy. What are your stats? Are you better than your parents? Uh, same as your daddy. Way less than your daddy. 
Why are you a hollow? That seems to be happening a lot lately. Oh, you got a weight mutation. That's why. Well, you're going in the pool of feather lights that may or may not die on someone's shoulder. <laughs> hey, what about you, little girl? That's okay, that's okay. Hey, you're better Ooh, than your mama. Big as green. You said green? Yeah, it's like green, yellow. Female 151. Mm. Exactly what you need is a breeding female to go with the other female and the other male. Yeah, that other one, the one I just came came only came out with 160. It's kind of doo doo. Oh, that sucks. The male I have is 210. Wait, so that 146 only came out as a 160? Yeah. How? Something don't seem right there. Female number five. Ah, so what should I name this little blue feather light? He's got a cyan belly, a dark blue main feather with red emission spots.
I was taking everything out of a drop and it just despawned. Well, I got all the cementing paste out. And a few of the blueprints that I got. the bed. So you're going to bed? Yeah. Alright. Alright. Good night, I Good night. See you guys tomorrow. X for XP, Doma is times 3, and Crianza is times 5, I think. I think breeding is times 5. He made the English version of the poster. It's not too long ago for me. Taming and harvesting is 3x, breeding and maturation is 2x. So 2xp for players, 3xp for taming and harvesting, and 10xp for breeding and maturation. Levels the giga you don't born. One fifty one. So keep it knocked out. It says you're gonna need one hundred and seventy narcotics. One hundred and seventy. Uh, that's what the Dodo decks is at. Three X rates. I got all that narcotic and shit too. That we spent forever making. We didn't leave none on bug everyone? No. I'm sure. Did we bother looking at your travel log to see if that base was still there? We did not. 
they're still there. That might be a good spot just to make a, a fog down there and keep people from bothering with it. Yeah. Not in that exact spot, though, as well. That's a, probably a highly traveled spot. Yeah, true. Those furnaces make it really hot here for those fireplaces. Oh yeah, I know. Makes me hot and I I'm almost a fifty quarter dude. Jesus. And I'm wearing fucking hazard suit, which gives you uh sixty hypothermic insulation. Wasn't as bad on the on Valguero where we built that because the tundra biome is cold to begin with. Yeah, so I true. didn't overheat. I didn't overheat inside the breeding room or the hatching room. <laughs> Shit ass. That's a funny name. What did you just jump on the server? On G1. Ah, uh, okay. Why does it show his name and when it usually doesn't show anybody's name? So it shows his name like twice in the list too, for some reason. Hmm. Well, no, I no. There's two players with that exact same name on, in the same tribe. Because back when the player list was in the Discord and they'd show you the Discord names, there was two Discord names with shit ass as their player name, in the same tribe. Yeah, but I I don't think it was two shit asses. I think he somehow has it, like it's bugged, like it's linked to Discord or some shit. Like it's registering twice for some reason. There's only one shit ass. Oh, here's that other uh, 135 egg. Into the fire pit calls. Well, I got the giga trap, so either I'm about to give that dude. A free team, or I will hopefully be back for. If you want me to spot and go over there, I can go sit on it while you go get the stuff you need. Yeah, that's alright. The only 
only thing I'd have to do is turn off the fireplaces and go find the drop to the transfer over in. I just gotta get some bugs. I don't think I have any upload, but... Oh, I'm stupid. Never mind. I have a Strider I can download. Berries is good, but let's say it's gonna kind of need to keep it down. The other deck says to keep this thing knocked out, it's gonna take 455 berries. Already got more than that. Didn't even have to move away from the drop. Do you guys have a drop that spawns near your base? On Aberration? Yeah, yeah. there's uh, three within distance of a Spino to get to it. And a few more if you're on a Dynamicus. Getting on and off is not too much of an hassle. Unless none of them are spawned, then we gotta go looking for one. While these eggs cook, they got 14 minutes left. I'm gonna go just find a drop to download some of the oil I have in there. Just my luck, none of the close ones are spawned. I might wait, Moss Chops. There's a drop down there. Oh, sweet. We got out of the trap.
Yay. Really don't like him to spawn ravagers right now. What the hell? Is it only because I'm not on the spinal? No, I think it just likes spawning them in general. No, so both ways up for our base had about four different ravagers spawns each. Dang. It's quite a lot.
waiting for this dude to show up and dome me while I'm knocking this thing out. <laughs> He's not on the map with you anymore. Oh, is it? Now you're by yourself. Yay. He's over on Gen 2. He's in the AH. Oh, he's in that tribe. Uh oh. Yeah. There's like three or four of those dudes over here. I don't know where the fuck they are, but. I didn't realize he was in that tribe. Yeah, that's the tribe he's in on Gen 2. I really wish the maps would like, keep the same tribe names across all of them. It's weird, like, you can. Like, uh, my buddies were slash tribing on Gen 2, and I was getting a tribe message over here on Val. So it's like, it knows. Alright, got a little boy and a little girl. Place that door. Swap out my breathing mill for one that's got better health but slightly less damage. What, Dino? Yeah. Uh, in my opinion, yeah. Because melee doesn't really matter for Dinos. Right. I guess this is going to be my new breathing board now when he grows up. Oh, does the sweet vegetable cake really give plus 500 health to tame herbivores? Uh, it's yeah. just so much space. Uh. Well, damn. We go into battle with fucking herbivores. 
probably be worth it to make a bunch of that. Uh, yeah, usually you just you put a bunch of cakes on stegos and that's what you use to soak turtle walls, stegos and racers. Turtles won't eat cakes. Stegos and racers will. <clears throat> but it's, um, it's percentage based and it'll go up to like thousand or something like that is the max. You said five thousand? I forget what percentage it heals of their their max HP, but it maxes out at something like that. Like it'll heal for five thousand or something. Damn. Sleep. I like this one's taking way longer than the other one. If you used to take the enduro stew and the uh, battle tartar, do they stack? Um, if you, I don't know if those stack. I know if you take enduro stew. <gasps> oh, you dirty bitch! Wake up on you? No! Oh God, no! <laughs> The fucking scorpion just knocked me out, and I didn't get the narcs in the thing, so I'm hoping this fucking giga doesn't wake up before I do, because it's got to eat me and my astro. Oh my god. And I think I shot the giga, so it's fucking taming efficiency is going to be shit. Oh god, this is horrible. Please, no, 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 no. Yeah, I know, it, I know it's supposed to be you've been arced, but it sounds, like you've been, it sounds more like you've been Tarkov'd. 
Yeah. Oh my fucking god. You've been Tarkov. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, I'm awake. I don't know if the scorpion hit it or I shot it, but I'm pretty sure I saw numbers pop up off of the Oh, this one only has 195 melee anyways. This one's something to do. -do. How do you knock so, out a rock elemental? Uh, catapult to the face. Ah, I see. So or, no, a cannon, cannon to the face. So you basically have to trap it and then shoot it in the face with cannonballs until it basically either dies or passes out. <clears throat> yep. Hmm. Which, there's uh, golem traps you can set up to where it blocks the splash damage from the cannonball. By the way, I put a foundation and three chests on the ledge above us. In the corner behind some foliage that we can stick all our blueprints in. Nice. And I mean, they got, they're gonna have to be looking for it to find that fucking thing. But you, oh, you got real shitty health. Probably magically know exactly where to look. Yeah, this little this little dynamic is so bad. I'm just gonna murder it outright. I think I'm off for the night. I'm fucking tired for some reason. I'm probably not gonna be any good. I do. Alright. I'll be on like the first thing tomorrow when I wake up. Oh. Man, catch you later. Yeah, then I did. subscribe on YouTube is always welcome. All three of those things are absolutely free and they only help. 
I'll be streaming again tomorrow as soon as I wake up. Although I do need to get a haircut as well, so I'll probably stop somewhere midway through the day to go get a haircut and then I'll be back and streaming again. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. If you did, I'd hope to see you come around next time. <coughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Again.